What's up y'all, this is Toku Meister here and here I'll be reviewing the Muso Saber that includes a DX Menon Arms uh, Noxane. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and get with the set. Uh, it does come with a holster to hold the weapon in. Um, here's a belt strap and I'm trying to, yeah, okay, let's do that. this way or something like that. Actually, it'll be on this strap. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it doesn't fit in that strap. So, okay, it will, yeah, it will be in that strap. Okay. So, it just slides in like that and such. And then you sword. I'm trying to do this. Like this. And it just slides up in there and it locks in real nice. So, that's pretty good. So, you got your sword. All gun ready to fight, and that's all that does. Okay, let's go in with the uh, not the sword just yet. We're just going with the uh, men and arm, um, not the men and arms, the men and oxy. Oxy is zero four, so very nice. Um, it's representing a honeydew menon. Uh, looks pretty good, very Japanese like such. And uh, turning it on, it's right here. Sounds all fancy. And uh, it does have the Nox Seed, uh, I mean, not the Nox Seed, the Inverse games. Um, but uh, obviously, obviously uh, Takatora doesn't play Inverse games, but it does have it. Balloon, start. You win. Up. Balloon, start. So you see that? Go and open it and then. And for some reason, this one just sounds very serious to me. Like it, it means business. Metal. Metal, just like straightforward in your face. And he does have the same hint of sound as Gaim. And there is a um, Zangetsu face paint. It's just that it is twenty-four bucks on eBay for just a piece of plastic with the image on it. And I think what I'm just going to do is just find that picture, print it, or just like just crop it to the size of this, print it, and just tape if I want to be like if I want to be Zengetsu for one day if I wanted to. So, going to put it on there. Push that down. And his, for some reason, I like a lot because I actually know the translation. Um, by heaven's decree, I'm like, damn, he means business. Anyway, um, here's his um, weapon uh, as a mental defender, which is just a shield because he automatically comes with the uh, Musa Saber, just like Gaim. So he has a sword, a shield, and a gun. So let's go with his attacks. Um, Here's the uh, scotch. Uh, and that's all late. And then um, sparking. So that's pretty cool. Now let's get on with the sword because that's what the set came with. So here's the sword. That's pretty cool. It has the game symbol already. And um, obviously it's a um, kid's toy so obviously the length of the braid won't be that impressive. But um, the handle feels real nice, real good. I mean I have humongous Asian hands and this fits me really nice. So yeah, there's that. Uh, go ahead and turn it on. Oh, it's already on. Let's go ahead and hear the sound when it turns on. And the speaker is right here. Muso seba. And you pull the trigger. It will uh, light up one LED light and make sorts of sounds. But there's only two sounds, and it just goes back and forth like that. And if you want to go into gun mode, you just pull the hammer back. Try this on one screen. 
put a hammer back and this whole row will light up and that indicates how much ammo you got so you shoot and one will disappear when you run out it'll tell you you run out and you don't push it for a while it'll go back to sword mode so it'll be like But um, yeah, that's what this does on its own. But um, I do like the um, the thought about this. You know, having a sword and a gun together in one weapon. You been like, uh, you know how people uh, crash swords and they'll be like in that stalemate. Where it's like, hey, yo, I got me a gun on this one on my hilt, and just blast the guy. Anyway, so uh, it does have a port to put the knock seats in because it'll do a combo finisher. Um, it would say one, I think it's one one hundred or something like that. It would just keep on counting by the tens and hundreds. So um, let's go ahead and attach to it. Um, yeah, also, I also forgot it's got away it from the belt, so it's already open. Put it in, and um, I'm going to show you um, sword mode and some of them, and some of them in gun mode. Yeah, I want to do both in the back and back. It's pretty much the same thing, just depending which mode you put it in. I think it's what 110 and 100 and it's just waiting for you to pull the trigger and you can see where the, which sound comes out of which is like whenever the lights are on and off for each one so yeah um, so that's what that does and then you just pull, pull the trigger again it does uh, men on power I think There's that for you, just like that. And to pull this out, because it is in this killing, you there's this yellow ball right here. You just push that down, and you should be able to get this out. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a very hard to remove these. Uh, let's go into each of the other ones. Oh, I just threw them over there. I wouldn't like that. So, it was orange, and we won't even sold mode. So there's that. I guess we'll go with banana even though he never used it. It sounds like he was whacking grass. I don't know why, but that's what it sounds like to me. And we're gonna do gun mode, so just do it for finishing gun mode, you just pull the hammer. Insert the knock of your choice. See it did pine charge and um yeah I forgot the charge on the other two but that's what it just it says it says the name of the knock and it says power so that's that let's see we got Suica and it's already open so let's go and throw this bad boy in I and mean, I never used this one to show either like this. Put it in sword mode. 
Just for you to go. And he did use this combination to show, and he just summoned like thousands of cool knives from out of nowhere, and like it just rained on the enemy. That's pretty cool to see that. So yeah, that's uh, that's it on the Musou Saber and the DX Melanoxy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more awesome stuff from Toku Meister, and I'll see you guys next time.